Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I just wanted to give you guys a little update on some of the stuff we uh, we did. Been doing to the conversion van. We got a lot accomplished, you know, new water pump. We got all the smog stuff <clears throat> put all back in. I actually did not know that this is actually the stock alternator off of my Suburban. <clears throat> and this is the alternator for my van. Now, mind you, I've never done anything that involves a conversion van or anything like that. And I kind of know now that they have to have a bigger alternator to control if you have lights going on or TV or PlayStation or whatever. But um, so the front still has a little bit more stuff to do, stuff to take care of. Um, yeah, you know, we got the new water pump on. We got all new radiator, new fan clutch, new hoses, all that good stuff. Um, but the inside is actually basically done with everything that needs to go in in the back part. Every, everything is done. Um, didn't know until I had everything all put together. So if any of you are have a newer van and you want to put an older style uh, 350 in it you gotta switch out the the uh, whatever the hell those are called I can't think of it it's really I just got off work um, the valve covers there you go my bad but um, you gotta switch to valve covers um, because this is how everything is with that one and the oil, you put the oil on the passenger side. I'm sure I could have left it the way it was, but I just wanted to make sure everything was right. I didn't want, I didn't want to mess with nothing. But yeah, you know, all knew that gas lines were all hooked up. Wire harness is completely 110% hooked up on this side. Um, every, everything. There is nothing. I have no more tools on the inside of the van. Everything that was supposed to be hooked up is hooked up from relays to hoses to grounds, all the stuff for the gas line, um, you know, distributor and all that. Um, one thing that really sucks is when I was doing the intake manifold, I actually snapped two bolts. Um, first one was up front. Um, I read a bunch of different um, forums, did a bunch of different research. And they said 33 pounds or foot pounds of torque to basically, you know, put this motor back together. And that 33 pounds, foot pounds of torque was, I don't know who thought that up. I don't know who thought that would be a good idea. I snapped a bolt. I didn't even make it to 25 and I ended up snapping a bolt. Um, so... Really irritated, really first off, I, I, I left it, went to bed, because I'm on nights, so I went to bed, woke up a little extra early, then took the intake manifold off, I was able to get that bolt out, so it wasn't <clears throat> really tight, which kind of, kind of like, stumped me a little bit, because I didn't know why the bolt would snap when it wasn't tight, so I figured maybe the people that rebuilt the motor, this motor, before I got to Suburban, um, maybe the bolt was already messed up. So I did the right thing. I went and bought all brand new intake manifold bolts, um, brand new gaskets again. I come home, start at 15 foot pounds of torque. Everything's good. Start at 20. Everything's good at 20. Get almost to 25, and I snap another one. And I just start laughing. I'm like, you know, I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, don't know what the hell you know why it would even snap this is what it says it's supposed to be i can't even get past 25 i got chickens ignore them so i just leave it i leave it i go to work um come back the next day my last day on so i'm, I'm at home i call a really good friend of mine who builds nothing but 350s and even my father-in-law was stumped and he knows these motors at the back of his hand so I called my buddy and I asked him, hey, you know, why the hell are these bolts snapping? It's supposed to be 33 foot-pounds of torque. 
not even getting the 25 on these bolts are snapping. He told me, 86 that, do not torque them down, go to about 20 foot-pounds of torque on every bolt in the star pattern, and then just go around with a normal ratchet and do a quarter turn and snug them up. He goes and leave it. And I did, and it seems fine. Of course, I haven't started it. I haven't ran it. I've spent about 100 bucks on three different intake manifold gaskets, gasket sealer, bolts, all that good stuff. Bolts alone were like 60 bucks. Um, but yeah. So, but it's got everything that could be done on the inside. I wanted to get done, taken care of, wrench down, put down, everything done. Only thing I got to do on the inside actually is do the um, the plug wire, but that that's not a big deal. But as far as hooking up relays, sensors, getting to make sure the grounds are good, um, you know, the hoses, the vacuum lines, gas lines. I mean, you name it. The inside of this is is basically done and I'm, I'm really hoping to get this thing up and running within the next two weeks and you know we got I got a lot of big plans for it you know custom front bumper with winch I want the full rack to go across the top um, big old huge tire rack I actually want a custom gas pump made that's gonna be on the back of this thing that'll probably hold I don't know maybe 30 to 40 gallons of gas that I can have filled that way if I'm gone out in the middle of the desert if I'm on a road trip and there's nowhere gas I can actually just hook up flip a switch and a pump will turn on and then I can pump gas into there or if you know I'm out and I have my dirt bikes my kids quads and they need gas I can just pull up I can turn the switch on and you know basically have my own little gas station in the back of this thing um, you know, my last video said it's been sitting for a long time. It's been sitting for, honestly, probably about four years. Um, just got discouraged about it, parked it up here, and left it. Didn't do nothing with it whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. Nothing real crazy yet, of course. You know, I'm trying to take my time, trying to not rush it, trying not to push it, because I don't want to make any mistakes. I don't want to have to pull this thing out, because... It is a pain in the butt to pull this motor out from the front of that van. You have to take so much stuff off this motor to be able to get it out, to get the engine hoist in. And I remember when I actually pulled the original motor out, um, the, I had taken everything out and I took the distributor cap off and I left it. And even though the distributor cap was off, once the weight went on there, it actually snapped the whole distributor itself so it, it it's it was a it's really difficult to get that in um and and out and it was not easy getting it in you had to have jacks on so if you ever have a van that needs a motor have someone else do it unless you have a lift to where you can just lift the whole body up off the off the frame i, I do not recommend anybody doing it the way i had to do it but um i'll show you guys some stuff in the front and kind of go from there uh but yeah, you know, I, I just got off work but i just wanted to show you guys yeah and it's it's a mess i know but you know i've just been trying to work on it little by little but um yeah see as for the alternator you know i was you know, did a lot of research and figured out that yeah normal altern alternator will not run all the stuff in this van because you know when you're driving you know I don't know if all you guys got kids or not, but I got a 13-year-old and a 11-year-old, or 10-year-old, my bad. My son's about to be 11. And, you know, they got PlayStation and Xbox and all that. That's going to be going in the van. You know, a bigger TV, and they got lights. So when you're driving, you're going to want to have the lights on. And to be able to run all that stuff properly and not have it mess up, you need this big old thing and you can I mean you can see you know I'll put it up together I mean, you could just see I mean the size difference is just absolutely crazy but yeah so I mean we already got you know the power steering pump bracket and all that I'm not gonna be doing nothing today because I still go to work probably won't even touch it until you know probably Tuesday evening I get off 
and then I'll go back to bed. But yeah, guys, so this is what this is what it is so far. Uh, it's not not completely done, but it is. I'm gonna say maybe 85% done. So just wanted to give you guys a quick little update, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.